Today at HHE Diesel, we're going to do a visual demonstration of our new patent pending nipple cup design. We spent over two years in R&D on these and we're proud to say that this is the final step in bulletproofing your 6 liter diesel. We make these out of hardened tool grade steel so they're not going to wear out like the OEM or the aftermarket. And we have a deflection groove built in so that if uh, at any point your nipple cup seals ever do fail, the oil is just going to hit this deflection ridge and just be deflected harmlessly away. Uh, whereas an aftermarket nipple cup or the OEM are just going to leave you stranded again with a no start. Um, we spent a lot of time getting the shape and size of this ball end exactly right so that it'll fit just right in a brand new oil rail or an old worn out oil rail. So we're pretty happy with our design and uh, it's going to be the last step, the last thing you need to bulletproof your 6 liter diesel. So in this test today we've actually uh, spent a lot of time getting this oil rail to leak. We've got uh, brand new seals in each of three different positions. We've got our nipple cup there, we've got OEM, and we've got uh, aftermarket. And what we had to do is actually cut little nicks in three different places on these O-rings. Try to get them exactly right on all three, but we ended up uh, having to put a little bit more of a uh, cut in ours because it seals a little bit better. But uh, all three have huge nicks in them. So they're guaranteed to leak. Um, and what's going to happen here is we have a 10,000 PSI hydraulic pump. And uh, with the amount of holes we have on those O-rings, it's hard to build up uh, any more than a couple hundred PSI. But it will show you the way the oil travels along the body of the nipple cup and eventually hits the top injector seal. So let's go ahead and turn on the pump and we'll show you how it works. OEM, that's aftermarket. And that's ours. See how the oil is just being deflected away from the body of the nipple cup? It's actually being deflected up into the oil rail and then it travels along the oil rail off. OEM, oh, yeah, you can see it's coating the entire thing. Same thing with the aftermarket. Just travels along the body of the nipple cup and hits your top injector seal. Whereas ours, you know, it just gets deflected harmlessly away. If you want to see the way we set up this uh, test setup, uh, I'll cut to the video of the whole setup of all this apparatus here after the video is over. But uh, make sure you stay tuned for more great videos. Go over and like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. So we're going to go ahead and put these in now. This one here. This is actually the, the same tool we've been using in all of our testing. Uh, we keep trying to break it, but we just haven't been able to. This is the tool that we put up to 500 foot-pounds of pressure, and it still won't break. Uh, no matter what we do, we can't break it, and we're just going to keep using it in all our tests until we can manage to break it. Of course, if you're uh, doing your own oil rail, you would want to torque these to 100 foot-pounds to make sure you get a nice, even torque. We're just doing this for testing purposes. So, HHC Diesel, OEM, aftermarket.